Hello scholars. So today we're going to be doing a symbolic self-portrait. For this one, we're going to be drawing the same thing we did last time, a head, a neck, and shoulders. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and start with my head, a tall oval, then my neck, and then my shoulders. Your shoulders can go off the page or they can be just short of the page, but definitely your shoulders should be bigger than your head. Then after that, I'm not going to draw the face yet. I want to draw a guideline. That means right here in the middle, I put my two fingers together right there in the middle, I'm going to draw a line. In the middle of that, I draw a line. In the middle of that, I draw a line. And that should show me where my eyes, my nose, and my mouth go. Now I'm going to try to do this relatively quickly. Curve on the top, small curve on the bottom. There's the eye. Curve on the top, curve on the bottom. Now remember, you're trying to make this you. So I know you don't want to make it look bad. You don't want to make yourself look ugly. But you want to draw this as carefully as you can. Take your time on it. If it doesn't look exactly like you, that's okay. At least you're putting your best on here. That's what we want to see. Mr. Lagarza has pretty good sized lips, so I'm going to draw that. My ears right here between these two lines. Everything on the line. Make sure you're following this as much as you can. Eyebrows up here. There we go. And even Mr. Lagarza don't have a whole lot of hair, but I got some. So you got to make sure you put some hair inside the head. There we go inside the head. And I did say you may have to redraw the chin. Remember, the chin does stick down just a little bit. you got cartilage down there. So I'm going to draw my nice little beard down here, try to get that out there. And that should do it. And then, of course, whatever clothes I want to put on here will be fine. All right. So there I've got a fairly decent drawing of myself, and I'm going to color that in a little bit later. For right now, I'm just going to move on. Now, once you've got your self-portrait the way you like it, now you're going to start putting symbols either in the background or you could even put symbols on your face or even on your clothes, something that represents you. When we saw Frida Kahlo, she put a lot of stuff around her that didn't make sense for them being there, like uh, a puma, a monkey, uh, a forest. You can do that too, but we want this to make sense. We want these symbols to make sense for you. So for myself, I think I'm going to go ahead and draw something like, oh, I don't know, how about right here, I draw a nice apple. There we go. And I'll even do a nice little worm sticking out of it, all nice and happy. I'll give him some glasses. There we go. And now I'm going to do that because I'm a teacher. So that's supposed to represent that I'm a teacher. Over here, I think I'll draw something else that I think represents me. Oh, I know. How about way up here, I draw a nice sun. And I'm doing a sun because I like to do things outside. I'm a really outdoorsy type of a person. Uh, I think over here I'll draw something like, how about a pencil. Why? Because I like to draw. And to help that, I can even draw a piece of paper back here. And I can even show that I'm drawing something like that. So there, now I can see that I'm drawing something. So I like to draw. And finally, Way up here, I think I'll draw something like, oh, I don't know, how about, oh, I know, how about I draw some nice grapes? And you might say, grapes, what is that supposed to mean? Well, I'm going to draw grapes because I want this to show that I like to eat healthy. And you might say, well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, it only has to make sense to me. So as long as I understand that that's what it means, it's A-OK. -okay. Now, if this comes out great, Fine, and you can start coloring it in. If you don't like it, you can always turn this over. You can always start over again. But the idea is to have one good drawing, and after you have it, you're going to go ahead and color it in the best you can. Now, yours doesn't have to be as detailed as this, or maybe yours are going to be more detailed than mine. Who knows? But you have to have at least four symbols, one, two, three, four, to represent the things about you. And again, it'd be nice if you could explain those things. Right here, I have crayons to show that I like art. I have a book here to show that I like to illustrate. I want to be an illustrator. That would be great to do uh, when I'm finished being a teacher. I did a little hand-holding hammer because I like to work. And, of course, I did a clock because Mr. Legarza is getting older, and I'm getting more and more aware of that uh, with every passing year. So that is my self-portrait. I cannot wait to see how yours come out.